Good afternoon, Facebook family and friends. Today it is Thursday, September 27th. The year is 2018. So last night at the gym, I go to the gym once a week with a friend of mine and we work out together. Um, and we do chest together. So that nigga was killing my ass last time. I wanted to cry in that damn gym. Sometimes I do understand why a lot of you guys run away from personal trainers and people who are fitness people because sometimes you go in there because every time every time is normally meet on Tuesday, but last night we ended up meeting on Wednesday night because he was out of town this past Tuesday. We go to the gym, Camp Creek Gym down there on um, in College Park, East Point area on Camp Creek Boulevard, Daily Fitness. So anyway, we're and when I tell you we do one hell of a workout, we normally get there. I'm, I'm gonna get get there, get there about an hour early to do cardio. So I was able to get about an hour's worth of cardio in um, before he arrived, and then we started our workout. We, we were there from by. I got there at 7. He arrived at, no, I got there at 6. He arrived at 7. We worked out to about 9.30, almost 10 o'clock at night, just doing chest. It, was, it went on and on and on and on and on. I was like, this is, by the way, I just wanted to cry because he's 39 and I'm 48. And I'm like, dude, this just shit went on and on and on. Anyway, as we got through our workout, which just was, was a lot of stuff. Now, he and I are both two big guys. I'm six, I am 6'2", 275, 270, 275, somewhere up in there. I don't know, I need to get on the scale. And he's probably about 5'11", 5'9", 5'11", 10, somewhere up in there. He's about 250, 260. So we're both fairly big guys. So we're in there working out, mind our business, and we go through, we, we grind it out. Boom, 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 boom. He, one after the next, one after the next. We really don't, he don't like me to be on my phone doing my little Facebook thing. And to me, he don't like none of that shit because he like, let's get this over with. We here for a reason. So we grind it out, getting our workout over with. So after we got finished, we normally go get something to eat at Longhorn Steakhouse because after that workout, a grueling three hour workout, we can, you can talk about being hungry as a bitch, but I like to give me a piece of a steak. Uh, a prime rib over at Longhorn Steakhouse. He likes to eat, he doesn't eat meat, he only eats chicken. So, when we got finished, I went into the locker room to uh, change clothes, put on some dry clothes. I sweat so immensely at the gym. Put on some dry clothes, and while I was in the locker room, he was talking to a young man. So, somebody he knew, from, he's from uh, Savannah. So as I'm talking, as I'm coming out of the locker room, they're talking. So I go up to the front. I see some more friends that I know I'm communicating with before we walk out to the gym. So when we get over to Longhorn Steakhouse and sit down, the guy, my workout partner was like, whoa, man, that was, he was like, that guy I was talking to, we were up there talking. He was like, did I know you? And I was like, hmm? He was like, he was like, man, do you know that guy? Do you know he's gay? Now, my workout partner and I have known each other for 10 years. 10 years. We met at LA Fitness Atlantic Station. Does he know I'm gay? He knew I was gay today. I met him 10 years ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're sitting there laughing about this because this guy's like, so this young, young man, I guess he's kind of um, seeing two big guys and then somebody, somebody in the gym told him, well, that other guy's gay. Referring to me. So, <laughs> but they knew each other, so as they were talking, he was like, man, yeah, he's gay. I mean, what about it? He said, look around. You have people in this gym right now are gay. The guy, he said, the kid was like, what? Does these guys, he's like, hey, do, you, do you not know anybody gay in your life? And he's like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know anybody like that. He said, well, now you do. So look around you. A lot of them, he said, you probably know somebody who's gay. He ain't just haven't told you they're gay. He's like, well, he doesn't look gay. He's like, well, a lot of these guys in here don't look gay, period. My, my buddy was, you know, defending me like, what is the issue with him being gay? Why would you care? You don't know him. You in the gym working out. You just, you see me working out. Why would I care? So I have a couple different thoughts about that conversation he had with that young man. I've been in the gym industry for a long time, y'all. When I first started going to the gym, it was dinosaurs rolling in the gym. So, 
I always find that when people have a question about your sexuality or a question to say or a comment to say about your sexuality, oh, he's gay. More than likely, that person is dealing with something concerning their sexuality too. Um, most encounters I have with straight people, most of my friends are straight. They're comfortable and they know who they are. They don't have to go around trying to identify who's gay and straight. Nobody cares. But I do find that guys who have some confusion about their sexuality and really don't know where they fit in the scheme of things, they're more concerned about gay people. And one of the things that that young man told my workout partner was, aren't you worried about people thinking that you might be gay because you're working out with him? And he was my partner. My workout partner was like, man, I'm not worried about what any of these niggas in this gym think about me working out with Walter. What is, he's like, why would I care? <laughs> And trust me, my friend is straight, and straighter than you and he, I mean, I don't know what to say about these niggas and they hoes, but hey, but he's straight. I've known this man for 10 years. And the stories you tell me, I, the women, he be, I, he's a very attractive guy, but he do, he, woo, he goes after these women. I say, Lord, have mercy, he just, that poor little waitress at that restaurant last night, he was all over her, and I'm like, let me get this girl up some breathing room. He was not going to leave that restaurant unless he got her phone up. I'm just sitting there like, when you love this, you don't even know. I'm just sitting there looking at him. He's like, I'm going to train you for free. I'll offer the training lady, the young lady for free. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, you, I'm going to tell the lady so bad, so bad, run. <laughs> but she's so busy looking at him like, wow, I'm thinking, you only knew. I said, me a lot of But peer pressure sometimes, I, you know, it's, it's, it's always like a divide. And it's always weird because I have a lot of gay friends. And they always say, "Watch, you never, you always work out with around with straight guys." I, I stay in my comfort zone. I get along better with straight guys than I do gay guys because I don't. We don't have no competition. Like we were at that restaurant last night, and this beautiful waitress was serving her. I looked at that girl and went on back to eat my food. He was all on, he was on her. Like now, if we were both straight guys, it would have been a battle to see well, who gonna get her phone number before we walk out this restaurant. There was no battle on the competition stream. Matter, matter of fact, I said, told her, here's a pen. You can get a phone number. Write it down. Whatever. So, we don't have a competition between here and I, I just get on a whole lot better with straight guys than I do gay guys. And I know what the problem. I know the reason is because there is no competition between us. We want two different things. So, we get along. I, we get along much better. But I, we were laughing about this whole incident about this young man pointing out the fact that I was gay. So, I had to ask him. I said, well, we've been working out together for years. Has anybody ever else said anything about me to you? He said, occasionally people say something, but mainly they say, who is that big guy? I mean, who who is he and how do you know him? And so people just know it. I don't walk around asking people. I guess you all you, you, you all have to understand, I have a very, very, very busy lifestyle. I mean, my cousin just passed away yesterday. Um, we're making arrangements to go up to Michigan. I'm about to drive up to Michigan, and I've been in the Chicago, Michigan area this weekend. Um, to make arrangements. I have a very active life, so I don't sit around wondering about who's gay and who's straight. I don't care. I just don't. When I go into the gym, I'm going to work out, enjoy my workout, maybe meet a new client, some new clients or something, but mainly I'm, I'm going to try to get in and get out of here. And this is orange juice. It's all right. It was on sale at Kroger. He was like, Dollar ninety nine for the container. It's a little too sweet for me, but you know you get that cheap orange juice. I think it might. It's supposed to, it says it's all natural, or whatever, but it's kind of sweet. Maybe just a tad bit too sweet to me. Sometimes I get orange juice when it's sweet like this. I put a couple of cubes of ice in there to let it melt. But I was rushing to try to get in and do this video because I wanted to get back to watching the Judge Kavanaugh thing on TV where they're interviewing the woman who. who um, Dr. Ford, who said that she was, um, there was an incident, you know, the Supreme Court nominee. So there's a young, well, there's a Dr. Ford, a young woman who's uh, um, telling her what happened between he and her many 30 some years ago. And of course, I'm just curious to see how this goes and if he's still going to be the Supreme Court nominee or not. But anyway, I thought it was interesting. It's going to do a little video about how. People shouldn't allow, like my, my, my friend and I, we were really, we're really good friends. We've been, we've known each other for over 10 years, at least 10 years. 
And it's never been an issue about me being gay or he being straight. One of the things that would align is we had similar interests. Working out, um, other uh, we have very similar interests. He's been to my met my mother. He's been to my house on numerous occasions. He's met Earl. I've met his girlfriends. Girlfriends. So I don't know. It's just for me. I just get along better with straight guys. I, I've tried to have close friendships with gay guys. It just doesn't work um, for a variety of reasons. I'm trying it out again to have some, because I would like to have some gay friends. It's just complicated for some odd reasons. But anyway, I'm going to go back to watching this. I just thought that was an interesting thing that happened at the gym last night, how this young man was so interested in knowing, let him know, hey, do you know he's gay? And my my, <laughs> my friend was like, my workout partner was like, dude, yes, I know Walter's gay. I've known him for about 10 years. And um, he's probably the best friend I have in, in, in my life right now. So any issues you have with him about him being gay, that's your problem and not mine. So he, I was glad to see he defended me. Um, you know, just I just thought it was kind of awkward, you know, because I walked back out. They were sitting there talking. And I didn't think nothing of it. I just looked at them talking. And I just said, OK, I'm going up to the front. I saw somebody I want to talk to you real quick. I said, I'm going to get this other guy's phone number. I saw a cutie pie. But I saw a cutie pie in the gym. I said, oh, I mean, I want to meet him. I ran up to, hey. <laughs> of course, the cutie pie looked at me like, hmm, what? Them gay guys get so much drama down in the gym. I don't care. I'd be messing with them any damn way. I'm, hey, what's up? I thought you was supposed to call me. You didn't call. What's your phone number? I'm just messing with him now. But anyway, if you like my videos, click like, share them with family members and friends. I know I ain't gonna hear from that cutie pie at the gym. I have to see him at the gym later on this evening. I'm gonna bother his ass again. Then cute, the cute, the cute. This is so funny. The cute guys, they don't, they don't like me. They. They don't like me. They, they see me. They they entertain me at their gym. But other than that, they're like, whatever. Hey, Walter. I'll see you later, nigga. They don't like me. <laughs> anyway, screw their ass, the broke motherfuckers. If you like my videos, click like. Share my videos with family members and friends. Share with all my haters. Both gay and straight. And uh, don't forget to click like. And I'm out of here. And enjoy your Thursday. Again, it's, today is Thursday. It is um, September 27th. The year is 2018. I'm out here. And enjoy your Thursday.